Well, good evening, guys. It's uh, Pastor Rob, and just wanted to come to you with uh, some of my thoughts for this week again. And, um, you know, this one I was struggling with on exactly what to say tonight. And um, I watched the vice presidential debates, not sure if you did, um, but I did this evening. And, um, you know, it, it just has hit me that the struggle I've been having, and I've said this to you guys a number of times on these videos, is what is the truth? You know, we talked about it in terms of COVID, what is the truth in terms of what information we hear out there in the news and in the papers and everywhere else, what can you believe? Um, I think as I listened to the debates last week, um, truth is something again that comes up as a question mark. And I think tonight, again, um, we can ask, what is the truth? It seems like that no matter where we go nowadays, everybody is trying to contradict each other and claim that the other is not speaking truth. And truth is, is something that right now, most people, I think, really doubt on wondering what is the truth. And, and when you're on one side, you believe you have the truth. People on the other side believe they have the truth. And it just seems like truth right now is something that is up in the air and you can't count on hearing truth almost anywhere that you go. Especially it seems like in our media, there's no confidence in truth coming from our media. <clears throat> there's no confidence in truth coming from our, from our politicians. And uh, there's no truth, it seems like in our newscasts or anywhere uh, on the radio nowadays either. Everything is sort of politicized, everything is um, sort of grounded with confirmation bias, and it's very difficult to discern truth these days. Now, as I say that to you, the, the thing that came to mind for me was this scripture from John chapter 8. It reads, so Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciple." If you will know the truth, the truth will set you free. I mean, it's amazing when we hear this, that, that truly the words of Jesus is where we find truth. That so many times we look for truth in all of the different places of this world. We look for truth from people that we look up to or that we want to follow. And it seems like truth is not even there that the only place that I feel confident these days to find truth is right here in God's Word. That we hear that Jesus is the one who brings truth, that he is the one who speaks truth to us. And so for me, the place that I go to ground myself in truth is in God's Word. And I encourage you today that as you look around this world and you see everything that's going on, um, that you don't get discouraged that you understand that God is still in control, that we have nothing to fear because he is orchestrating everything that's going on, and that ultimately the place that we need to look for truth is right here again in God's word. That God's word is truth, and there is nothing that we have to doubt from that. Now, what a great message that is, I believe, because it brings comfort to me that even though I look around and I see everything going on, and I see speak, people speaking lies no matter where they are. I see people speaking all of the stuff that is not truthful. That we know that people in this world are going to let us down because of sin that is in this world. And that more than anything, the one thing we can look to, to bring us confidence, to bring us peace, to bring us truth, is the words of Jesus Christ and everything that God has given us in his scriptures. So this evening, I pray that you would look to the scriptures to find truth, and that in that you would find comfort, peace, and joy because of what Jesus has done for you, knowing that he has forgiven you all your sins, that he has risen from the grave so that we could look forward to eternal life, and that you and I, we know the truth of Jesus, and that changes everything for us. And there is no other truth that we need to know, because that is the most important. So I hope that brings you some joy, some peace, and some hope this evening. God bless. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye.